There we go. That's good. Perfect. All right. So, how does that go? Something like that? Anyways, hi. Hello again. Hello there, General Kenobi. Um, yeah, let's stop there before I go any further afield. Hi, welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. I've got a new background, backdrop, and uh, I own this place. So, uh, yeah, last couple weeks have been a bit of a whirlwind. We uh, bought a house and uh, moved, thanks to a lot of really good friends. And um, one of those friends gave me a gift. <laughs> so in case you weren't aware, or were under some rock somewhere, or just don't know, it's perfectly okay to not know, Plenty the Elder is a halo beer. It is a really bright, shiny halo beer. It is released by Russian River Brewing every year, and it sells out very quickly, and it's very hard to get outside of Northern California, where it is brewed. I have had this once before, and it was just over two years ago. I'd heard good things about it. I was just getting into beer then, um, like into... I was, I was really expanding my horizons of craft beer then. That was before I'd started this channel. And I was going back to California to kind of say goodbye to my my growing up home, my childhood home, where my parents were selling, and they left for Texas. Um, good for them. And there in our local grocery store, there were whole shelves full of Plenty the Elder. And knowing a good thing when I saw it, or no, I didn't know, I had heard. <laughs> It's like, well, this is a good opportunity. So I did get it then, and I remember thinking back then that the beer reminded me a lot of a Saison, which was a good thing because I wasn't a huge fan of IPAs. In fact, I don't think I recognized that it was an IPA and kind of the IPA um, until sometime later. And so I thought it was a particularly delicious Saison. Floral, funky, um, kind of dry. And that sort of thing. So it'll be very interesting to see how memory, <laughs> Plenty of the Elder, stacks up to, uh, well, the actual fact. And having talked about beers now for over a year, almost two years now on this channel. Um, and also, super mega shout out to Evan, who joined me for the Modern Times review uh, in July, which probably got posted a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, it posted pretty quickly. So um, many thanks to Evan. He helped move, and he gifted me with this rare Halo beer. So just starting off, like I was, there were a whole bunch of really bright um, tropical and floral notes, like lilies and um, and mango were kind of the, the two flavors that I was picking, just, just aromas in the area. Um, and here I am outside on a deck, um, and, oh, hi, buzz off, oh, jeez, I think the bees like it too, well, actually, that's a hornet, or a wasp or something, yay, so if I duck, or scream, that's why, um, for reals, buzz off, buzzard, <laughs> I haven't set up traps yet. We did have people come by and uh, collect some of the nests on our property. Um, but we'll see. Anyways, so yeah, floral notes, tropical notes, uh, reminding me more of a stereotypical northeast or hazy IPA than a west coast. But um, let's uh, see how it tastes. Or let's dive in deeper maybe first. Okay. The flavors are definitely to the hazy side, tropical and floral. Uh, not dry, not juniper, not pine tree, tropical and floral. So uh, now let's see how it tastes. Hmm. It tastes good. It tastes very good. I'm not sure where I picked up Saison, but that was two years ago on a craft beer. 
flavors change, especially a very seasonal beer like this, which is brewed freshly every year. Russian River has a really good reputation. Plenty the Elder is kind of their halo beer. And I would expect them to focus on consistency from brewing to brewing. But I don't actually know how strongly, if that's the total goal or if their goal is to use the same ingredients or the best ingredients they have each year to produce plenty. So I don't know actually know how much variance there is expected to be from year to year. Just in case the bee comes back. Um, how much variance there is expected to be year to year with this. But memory Plenty of the Elder is very different from this Plenty of the Elder. What I'm getting is uh, pineapple and mango, kind of a almost a, a tropical fruit cocktail kind of flavor. And um, and it's really nice. It's very sweet. It's very juicy. And then building pretty quickly is a uh, more of a green plant, more of a verdant flavor. Um, not quite bitterness yet. The bitterness is a real slow build on this. It's it's five, six seconds in before that verdant turns into the pine tree of a traditional West Coast IPA. So really, it's a really nice progression. And it tells a really nice story as it goes with like maybe three main acts. <laughs> <laughs> and and each of them are pleasant and they they blend and kind of fade very nicely into each other this is a this is a savoring beer because of the time it takes those flavors to build develop and then fade in your mouth and it, you're left with a really nice like a warm warm uh you know juniper pine tree um you know that, that bitterness typical of an ipa Yeah, you don't, you don't want to smash this. You don't want to bottoms up. You want to take a drink, let it sit for 10, 15, 20 seconds, and then take another drink. Because they're good. <laughs> yeah, like that. That's good stuff. That is very good stuff. Anyways, thank you very much, Evan. It's a, uh, um, it's quite the gift, and I appreciate it. And I appreciate you, man. I appreciate all y'all. This is beer review number 117 for me. Um, going on, it'll be two years and a few months. Been enjoying it. Um, I have a bit of a backlog, though I'm not sure how spotty posting is going to be, like, immediately, though... By the time this video goes up, I'll probably back and be back on the roll of things. But just move and owning a house and when the sewer backs up a week after you, uh, you know, buy the house and <laughs> your brother comes over and helps me learn what a clear out is and I spend a hour under the house. And yeah, homeownership is uh, it's a mixed bag. <laughs> Anyways. One of the perks is gifts. I like gifts. I like Plenty of the Elder. I like Evan. I like all y'all. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side.